Hey guys, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. And every time that I'm recording, somebody wants to text me, somebody wanna call me, somebody wanna tell me something. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, man, so today's topic is I'm going to lunch. <laughs> so like I told you guys, I'm gonna be doing my web developer lunch breaks like this because you know I want to interact more with you guys but at the same time it's like it's the quality man I want to give you guys the best quality that I can like I can't deal with this Verizon 2G 3G that's out here like it really sucks like you know sometimes I see uh, uh, like Christian's old uh, live videos they were like legit because his service is good it's worth watching you know but when your service is bad even like uh casadaro the other day i was watching his his live feed and he he was right in the middle of the city which is, i understand is better uh 4g service but it really really sucks for me that i live out here and i work out here and in the suburbs and it really sucks so I just decided, you know what, man? I'm gonna give you guys the best quality that I can right now, man. So yeah, <laughs> like I said, it sucks because it's like I'm so used to like looking down at my phone and you know seeing Matt there, and Matt the bot, <laughs> drop a link, <laughs> or I will see something where it will be like you know a couple of people. Damn, a car accident right here in the corner. A couple of people will say something and you know it'll be cool. But right now it's like I'm talking to myself, you know what I mean? <laughs> My web developer lunch break. So I'm very excited about this. So at work, we're done working on the old site. Right? So now we doing the whole redesign. We basically did all the functionality, transfer everything to Laravel. We used to be on Pearl, and now everything is being transferred to, um, well, it, it got transferred to Laravel. And now, we're actually being, um, how you call this? We're actually redesigning the, the whole site. The whole redesign is done. Now it's all about uh, basically implementing it to the new website. So... I'm very excited about that. You know, like a lot of people have been asking me, Joe, where do you work? Or what do you do? What what company you work for? I mean, if you look through my LinkedIn, you will find out. But I haven't really put it out there because number one, I hate the website. I love the company, but I hate the website <laughs> that's currently on. So it's not something that I can be proud of and be like, oh yeah, I work for this company and the website looks like shit. And you guys are gonna be like, Joe, your code sucks. And it's like, nah, man. It's not my code. We're basically using uh, an old template that they had for like six, seven years. You know how companies... Not every company could just re-update every year. It's like Amazon or one of those, you know, old companies that they've been here since 2000, 2001. You can't just leave your design or, or, or redesign everything. You know what I mean? Yo, my cousin scribbled down what you ordered and he yeah. left. So oh, okay. What'd you tell me? Sorry. Uh, honey turkey. Honey turkey. Uh, uh, no, no, honey turkey. Honey ham. He wrote honey ham. Yeah, yeah honey That's ham. That's why I thought he fucked up. Yeah, no, honey ham with lettuce, tomato. On a. On a um, hero. Hero with honey ham. Yeah. Um. Nah, nothing right. on it. Thank you. Yeah. That's how you do it, man. That's how you know when, when you're a loyal customer and you come through and always show love to the to the people. They show love back to you, man. I'm just saying, people love me everywhere I go, man. You see that. Like, they come from inside the store to come show love. And like, yeah, we want to make sure you get your right sandwich today. <laughs> people love me, man. But, yeah, um, like, what was I saying? Yeah, so when you work in a company, right, uh, an old company, you got to deal with working with legacy code. Like before I got here, we were working 
Well, they were working on Pearl, some framework called Interchange. That framework is super old. You can't, you can't even update it. It's so old that you can't even update it. And the website itself just looked like shit. Everything worked like shit, in my sense, right? Because the company itself were, works amazing. Like, you know, you, you order your glasses, you receive your glasses, everything's going to be good. But the website itself, it just looked bad. And that's because there's developers that don't care. Like, if I would have been working here for, like, five ten years i would have told them like hey let's update to something more modern i would have said hey let's join uh something like node.js let's see laravel maybe ruby on rails something more modern they were using fucking pearl some shit from like 1998 so it's like when i got hired i got hired to change the whole platform of the the website to Laravel and that's what I did with my friend Joel who's also another developer in the company but it was just pretty crazy like now we finally gonna release the new website which looks amazing everything works perfectly um, it's pretty clean it's legit it's le like literally legit it's like we we are competing with like the top companies you know like we really up there Right now, you know, and it's cool because this is a small business. This is a business of probably less than 200 people that work here, and it's pretty cool, man. It's cool because when I do something, I change something, it, it really does a change in the company. Like, I'm one of two of the main developers, so there's two main developers there's Joel and there's me, and now we have uh, another developer who is a contract was helping us out for the moment but we don't know if he's gonna stay or not but there's only two developers and then we have somebody who's remote in Colombia um, and we're looking for another remote back-end developer so maybe if you guys are back-end developers who are really good let me know you could work from home and work on this company now I haven't even said the name of the company but you'll find out if you go into my LinkedIn and try to search through it and do some creepy stalker shit, right? You could probably go <laughs> go and find out what company I work for. But I don't want to say the, the name of it until we get the new website. Because it's not something that <laughs> I want to show off to people. Be like, hey, I work for this company and the website doesn't look as good as, you know, my skills. And how do you explain to people like, hey, this website, I maintain it. And I'm creating a brand new website for it. So when if you visit it right now, you're going to be like, man, this website looks like shit. It's old. But, you know what I mean? Like, So that's why I haven't really said what company I work for. But besides that, the company itself is amazing. The owner is amazing. Um, you know, the people I work with are pretty cool. You know, and yeah, like I stick more to my, my IT work, you know, just straight programming. I don't really mingle to, with everybody in the company because I'm not there for that shit. I'm there to do my job. Five o'clock, I'm out of there. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not there to try to make friends and best friends and that. Because you know how it is in every job. You go in, you try to be best friends with everybody. The day you leave, everybody talks shit about you. So, I'd rather not give nobody any anything like you know to talk shit about me so i don't give them no information i don't tell them about my personal life i don't tell them what i do i don't tell them if i make money on the side i don't tell them if i have another company i don't tell them if i do youtube like i don't tell nobody my business but i do love working there you know so but yeah man so that's my my video for today kids um listen i need you guys because we can't interact like before you can either join Discord, right, or you can send me an email. Just a quick email. It's codingface at gmail.com. Send me any questions, any topic you want me to talk on my web developer's lunch break. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later. I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know, man. Because now since I'm recording this live with you guys, right, I'm not doing it live how I used to. Right, where I used to just go back and forth with you guys. What I think I'm going to go 
start doing is basically get a topic and then after I have the topic either from one of you guys from an email or I'm gonna search it online see what topic people want to talk about then I'm gonna make a video on my lunch break a quick 10 minute video all right guys so I'll see you guys later man back at it again your boy Joe codingface.com make sure you subscribe and guys if you want to support my channel there's only one way to do it you either go to my website sign up for the courses there or if you're going to buy a course anyways on on Udemy listen the links are right there down below when you click one of those links whatever course you buy on Udemy I get like two three dollars back so pretty much they're gonna charge you ten dollars anyways so make sure you show some love man it's up to you man all right kids I love you guys man stay up all right